yes. It's thrifting day. Goodwill. Today we're doing Goodwill hunting. A few items I found. It's not few, but I'll show you some items. This is not going to be a long haul, guys, so don't freak out. <laughs> you guys know my my hauls are always so long my son was like mom it's an hour and it's like a movie i was like okay okay but anyway i think i'll keep this short today promise better hold me to it so if you're new to this channel guys please welcome if you're my favorite person thank you love you and um if you're just new here and you you don't even care you just want to be nosy to see what this channel is all about yeah welcome and please subscribe 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 share comments good comments only please and hit the notification bell so you will know what this channel is all about this channel is all about saving your coins and getting good items maybe some luxury maybe some contemporary maybe some just fashion items for less money we're not breaking the bank over here so okay it's just all about looking bougie but on a budget all right guys so i went goodwill i went yesterday which was the day you veterans get their discount and then i went today and today was like eh but anyway so I went to two different Goodwills, one by my house and one far, far away. So, let's see. What is this one? Yeah, not that far. All right, so we're gonna start. Let's start with the shoes. Shoes, shoes, we'll save the bags for last. It's not Hope of the Valley, this is Goodwill. You know, Goodwill is tricky. All right, let's just start. The first item I found was uh, a pair of Milano Blahniks from Goodwill. Sway boots. You guys know fall is right around the corner. Beautiful suede. You know, when I was running to Hope of the Valley at that time to get... Um, the Milano Blahnik shoes that were donated by the um, New York Press. I think Goodwill had a certain amount too, but I didn't think about that. All I was focusing is like, oh, let me go to Hope of the Valley and get those Milano Blahniks. But Goodwill had a few and they were way, way much cheaper than my Hope of the Valley. And I was hurt. Because the Hope of the Valley, those Blahniks, Milano Blahnik shoes that I got... These ones were like 24, even though I did get 25% off, still good. But you know, I just don't like to be cheated. So when I went to Goodwill and the lady told me, oh, I, when I saw this pair, I was like, wait a minute now, do you have any more? She said, yeah, we did, they sold out. I was like, why did I not go? But anyway, beautiful Bologna suede tan heels for eleven dollars and 99 and when i got this the yellow tag was 25 percent off so a pair of milano blanding for less than ten dollars i mean it's pre-loved yes but it's not there is no scuffs the the heel is perfect i actually put this on my poshmark the other day and the only reason I did that because it's a size. If this was my size, I would have kept it and I'm so bummed. It's a six and a half. And I listed it at Poshmark. You know, these shoes are Poshmark. Some people are selling them for $500. Some people are sell some for nine something. I'm like, what y'all smoking? But I listed mine for under $100. So if you're interested, it's on my Poshmark. My closet is at White Truman. Yes, yeah, Goodwill. So because of that, I went to a couple of other Goodwills to see if your girl will find another pair. Nope. That was the only one I got. I was bummed. So, anywho. The next 
pair of shoes I got, and this one is close to the Goodwill by my house. It's a Jeffrey Campbell uh, crocodile embossed shoe. Oh, what would I even call this shoe? This is Jeffrey Campbell. Now, if you guys know your designers, Jeffrey Campbell makes great shoes. Mostly, Jeffrey Campbell shoes, you can find it at his store in New York, or you can find them at Nordstrom's. I don't know if there's Jeffrey Campbell at Bugged of Goodman, maybe, or Saks. I don't know the homie to it. But I know he has his own store in New York, and you can find him at Nordstrom's. And his shoes are not cheap. Jeffrey Campbell's shoes are really not cheap. They're really expensive. They're very well made, beautiful. And this is croc, and you know, like really leather cropped. So I think suggested retail price on this one was, I think I saw this on Poshmark and somebody was selling it for 150, but I would think that they run for like maybe five something or 4.99. So yeah, and I got this at uh, Goodwill for $7.99 and 25 off. Yes, Jeffrey Campbell, you guys see that? Yeah. I remember when I worked at Nordstrom's, they used to have Jeffrey Campbell's shoe and it has a little embellished toe right there. I like the heel. It's a little bit pushed in. It's not that much wear on it. It's pretty loved, but it's not that loved. So whoever had it probably wore it a couple of times and said, okay, I'm done. And donated it to Goodwill for better stuff, I think. Yeah. Because why would I donate the Jeffrey Campbell shoe? Maybe trying to make room in my closet for more expensive shoes. Because that's what most rich people do. Alright, the other shoes I found. And this one was the Goodwill by my son's school in Northridge by uh, Seesaw University. I found this, um, what is this by? Vince Komodo Wedges Pony Hair. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I went to the city, not really the city, but in the other part of the valley, San Fernando Valley. And I went to Northridge. The same day I went to the Hope of the Valley, I decided to stop at the Goodwill over there. And I must say the Goodwill over there is a little pricey. I was like, hmm, what is this with this Hope of the Valleys and Goodwills in the San Fernando Valley area? Their items are which they're way more expensive if you're in California than the ones in the Antelope Valley area. It's like, seriously, why? Anywho, I guess they figured they got more money, so why not? They got beautiful pony, pony hair animal print. This was $19.99 and there was $25 off too when I got it, yellow tag. And this looked like it was pre-loved maybe one time. Actually, no. I, I think this was just tried on in the store because the, um, the heel, the bottom has some wear, but the heel don't seem to have any. So I think this shoe was probably just tried on in the department store. And um, it's a size, uh, size eight, I believe, I think. Yeah, anyway, I tried it and it fit, you know, it was my size, so I decided to get it. Now, if this was in the Goodwill in my part of town, I probably would have paid $11, $12, but being that it was in San Fernando Valley, which is close to the city, it was a little bit pricey. I don't know why they do those people like that. Why Goodwill and Hope of the Valley was happening? All right, the next shoe I got from that same Northridge, Goodwill is this shoe. I don't know who makes this shoe. Oh, it's by Schwartz. This is made by Schwartz. I saw this transparent shoe and um, still has the original tag, never been used. Suede in the front, little side on the side. I love the heel, almost look like a Blenick heel. Beautiful, beautiful size, um, size eight. 
never been worn and I paid, yeah, straight up $19. There was nothing off of that, just $19. I was gonna pass, but I was like, you know what? I'm not close to the house. I don't know what it says on there from what store it came. I know it's by Schwartz, but it has all the little stuff on there. It has the barcode, the size, and the description. Yeah, I think it says 38 right there, which is like a size 8. Yeah. And then on the bottom, right here, I'm trying to see. Let me get my glasses, guys. You guys know your girl can see. But for one time, she forgot her glasses. Yeah, so... These shoes are just too cute. So it says made in Brazil leather sole. Just made in Brazil and then leather sole. So this sole is leather. You can tell the top is just suede and loose side. So they can say all leather. And it's by Schwartz in a 23, whatever that means right there. USA size. 8 size 8b that's what that says then on this little sticker it just called this shoe is called cindy multi something rosa and i guess this was written in brazil or whatever whatever so yeah beautiful shoes it fits me to the t to the t i couldn't try those um Milano Planix because those were not my size. I, you know how <laughs> when I found it, I picked it up. I was like, okay, this is probably gonna go to Poshmark or I can give it to my daughter, but I'm not gonna give it to my daughter because she will never wear it. She doesn't like little heels. She like because she's very petite. She loves high heels. So I'm just gonna put that one on Poshmark. This little short shoes, they had it in this color. And then they had it in all gold. If it was not nice, if there was a discount off of it, I would have gotten two of them. But being that they just gave me, oh, did I show you all the bag? Goodwill. Yeah, so beautiful shoe. I don't know if you can see that. Gorgeous. Yes. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. So, yeah. That is really, really cute. Cute and comfortable. Never been worn. So yeah, that was $19. Straight out of Google. I must say I'm spoiled when it comes to Hope of the Valley and Goodwill because good. I um, think Hope of the Valley to me has more affordable price than Goodwill does. But I figured out something else though. You can get luxury from Goodwill, like luxury handbags from Goodwill, but you get contemporary handbags from Hope of the Valley, yes. Like you can find a Gucci, a Chanel, which I have at Goodwill, but never at Hope of the Valley. Hope of the Valley, I'll find a Michael Kors, and the coaches and the Mark Jacobs, but never a luxury. Never, I've not yet to find a luxury bag. So, the other one I got is by Classic and Trey, which is like a Nostrums brand. Beautiful shoe, nice little sling bag. I'm trying to tell you, I'm always doing things crazy. Nice. Pointy toe. Look at the leather on there. Nice slim bag. And this one too was $9.99. Yeah. So yeah, you can get this, you know, shoes from Goodwill, Hope of the Valley. Yeah, you'll find a whole lot of Michael Kors, a whole lot of Marc Jacobs, and Coach, especially Coach. But in goodwill yeah you'll find some good stuff so what else did i find 
think that's it for the shoe. And then um, I found this nice Italian belts, two in one. For $7.99, it's like tucked together. It's like two in one. You got the croc. It says um, genuine leather, Vero Seal. And uh, who is this by? It just says made in Italy, Code Azure. You guys see what it says made in Italy right there. Genuine leather, croc belts, beautiful. And it has a gold tip right there. And then it has this gold buckle. Then the next one is just um split leather made in usa it says split leather i don't know what split leather means it means the leather was split into two just the white one so these two belts was put together and sold for seven dollars and 99 cents the only reason i bought i took those belts is because of this belt the white one not so much I mean, the white one might be good with some pants. Let's just say I'm wearing a pair of white pants. Yeah, so let me show you how beautiful this belt is. I was gonna give it to my husband. It's a man's belt, but he try, it won't fit him. My son only wears Gucci or Louis Vuitton belts. This kid is not interested in this kind of belt. So guess who's gonna keep this belt? Mwah. Look at that. I can put it over one of my men's blazers and this will look so good. Look at how heavy this thing is. Look at that. Made in Italy. Look at how shiny that is. So cute. Yeah, this and the white one, $7.99. So that was straight out of Goodwill. I don't know, some people say they go to Goodwill and they cannot find anything. I don't know. I just think that you should be more patient as you go through stuff because for some reason, I can always find stuff. Hardly ever have I walked into a Goodwill and walked out. No, I always find stuff. But I don't go every day, so I don't know. I don't know. So let me show you the next item, guys. Yup, yup. We are going to do some designer. This is um, a designer female jacket by, this jacket is by Louis Ferrar. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Louis Ferrar. Right there. Louis Ferrar, I remember back when is made in germany is it germany i think louis ferrar is made in germany but let me be sure before i tell you guys yes louis ferrar is made in germany even though it's a french name and it's a beautiful beautiful blazer i got this too at the goodwill in northridge nice little suede double lapel we have the suede here then we have the fabric here, and the inside says Louis Ferrar everywhere. And um, the buttons have their beautiful crest, Louis Ferrar kind of crest on the buttons. Look at that, well made. And this one was, yeah. I paid twenty nine dollars for a for a jacket. Go figure. I don't know what I was smoking that day, but I paid thirty dollars for this jacket. You guys know. I can go to Hope of the Valley in the men's department and get another luxury jacket in the men's department for five dollars. But being that this was a this was a female jacket and it's by Louis Ferrar, I know they run for about a thousand dollars and up. Your girl got it. I don't know. And I think the only reason I got it too because I was very far away from home. If this was close to my store, I probably would have waited for the tag to be on sale before I would attempt to get it. But being that I was all the way 
like what 30 minutes away 40 minutes away from my house i'm like by the time i get back there somebody else would have gotten it so yeah you guys your girl would never button a blazer so the sleeves are a little short only because <laughs> it's a size four but who cares it's a size four but i will rock it with a men's shirt underneath it so it's gonna forget my print dress guys yeah i'm looking very 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 hawaiian today straight out of hawaii so yeah it's beautiful nice luxury blazer guys like i tell you when i go to hope of the valley and goodwill i'm only looking for luxury items if i can if not i'm gonna pass if it says made in italy ha, your girl is all over it yeah this came out of this came out of women's department lower for uh, women's department of like i say my arms are so long that this sleeves were so short but what do i do i just pull it all the way up so this can be styled with so many things during the holidays. Yes, look at the chain right in there. That tells you, you get none of the quality. I paid $30. Do you guys know how much, how many men's blazers I would have got for that? $4 for, if I paid $5 each, but I got it. I go home. I didn't even think I knew the price. I think I just saw the way for her and I threw it in my basket without looking at the price. When I got home, I saw the price. I'm like, what? I paid $30 for this? Yeah. I mean, you can always take it back to Goodwill, but I'm not going to do that. It's like you have 60 days to bring it back. By sixty day, by the time 60 days roll around, the receipt has been all washed out. You probably threw the receipt away. So who's going to be taking it back? No, I'll rock it. Next one I got from the men's department. Ha! It's... This black Burberry jacket. Yes, guys, Burberry. Let me show you, let me show you. And this was from, it's Burberry uh, from Barney's, New York. Yes, I remember once upon a time I worked at Barney's. And this is by Burberry London, right there. You see the press, Burberry. And this one, I got $12.99. There was no discount, but I, it's a red tag. And I was like, who cares? If I could pay $30 for a Louis Ferrer, I could pay $12 for a Burberry. Why is it doing that? It says extra large, which I don't know what that means, but it will never stop me from wearing this men's Burberry blazer. So look at that. I don't know if this is black or dark navy. It kind of gives you some kind of dark navy vibe. I have a Barney's female jacket. It almost looks just like the Burberry. So yeah. All right, look at that. Let me move. Move, 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 move. So we can we can see this beautiful jacket. Look at it. Yes, guys. One small. This is Burberry. The shoulders are perfect. The back has a slit. And you guys know Burberry retail for like twenty five hundred from Burberry Sport Coat. The cheapest Burberry jacket you can find is probably. 1500 but just to find this at $12 for a luxury blazer. If this was in the women's department, I'm sure they would have put it for $30. But being that it's in the men's department, it was only $12.99. Yeah. Look at that. Directly from Barney's, New York. Burberry. Yes. Love it. It's a two button. I, I, I wish it was three, but that's okay. Two is just fine. So this is my second 
Burberry jacket I'm getting from Hope of the, I mean, um, from Goodwill. No, I think the first one I got from Thrifting. The first one I got from Hope of the Valley, and this one is from Goodwill. The Hope of the Valley one was $4.99. The Goodwill one is $12.99. Come on now, guys. Yes. That's another item. Luxury from Goodwill. The next one I got was... Uh, Hold on, guys. I'm coming. I have so many. Okay. I got this one is by another Italian blazer. And this one is by um, Manzini. Directly made in Italy. This is like a little pinstripe navy. This is navy, guys. It might look like blue. But it's straight up navy. Nice. And this is going to be a little big on me. But I'm going to put a belt. Or I can just walk around oversized. Like this. Look at the sleeves. <laughs> like I borrowed my husband's jacket. But unfortunately, he doesn't wear sport coats. He wear, he wear sports items like Jordans and all this kind of stuff. So... I could walk around with this and put a scarf when it gets cold. This is a three button, directly made in Italy. There is no split on the back. Some of these Italian jackets, they don't like to put split on the back. So I can make it look more feminine by putting these nice Italian belts. That you go go out a good will. For next to nothing yes look at this hope you guys are looking past my flowery dress <laughs> straight out of hawaii guys this this is a hawaiian designer i got this dress from goodwill i bought it in every every style and every design 4.99 anyway that's another haul man we, we're concentrating on goodwill so this is a manzini jacket and manzini is an italian uh design Look at how it fits. Look at the shoulders are a little big, but that's how I want it. So if I wear this with some leggings or some jeans, or maybe a nice little mini skirt or shorts, I'm good to go. I mean, this is everything. Yes, everything, 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 everything. So guys, excuse me, my daughter is calling me. And I can't find my phone. Where is the phone? Oh, she disturbs me. I'll call you back. I'm doing a video. Okay, I'll call you back. Call you back. Call you back. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Technical. Well, that's not technical difficult. That just I couldn't ignore her call. It could be an emergency, so. I had to talk to her because you never know these days why your kids call you. So, yeah. If it was something serious, I would have had a panic in her voice. But she wanted to know what I'm doing tomorrow. So, a little bit TMI. Anywho, so yeah, that's that Manzini jacket. We can wear it that way. We can wear it this way. I'll be going to the movies and I'm just have my t shirt underneath it. And some jeans, and we're good to go. So that's that. Alright. The next item is by. Who makes this? What's this? How much did I say the Manzini jacket was? Did I tell you guys how much I paid for Manzini? I know I didn't. I got Manzini was 50% off. So it was $9.99. 50 off so it was like four dollars and some change 450 for italian pinstripe men blazer guys i would never run out of men's blazer i tell you not and this one i the only reason i got this i love the color and i love the finish you guys see how rich this fabric is and this is a three button 
and this too is by Paul Zaleri, made in Italy. Is that Paul Zaleri, made in Italy, guys? You see right there. So, if it's made in Italy, I'm all over it. If it's made in China or USA, no, I'll pass. I mean, there's a couple of USA items that I got. I'm not saying USA don't have good stuff, so please don't come for me. I'm just saying. I saw men's blazers, and I know the Italian blazers, they, the silhouette is way better. It's cut. Look at this. This is a men's blazer, but it fits me like it's a female blazer. And it's a three-button, which I would never button. This got to be a 40 because it fits me perfectly. But I usually like the 44s and the 42s because I like my jacket oversized. But this seemed like it was made for me. And even the sleeves are just right. So it got to be a 40 regular because the sleeves are hitting me in the right spot. Three buttons there, three buttons here. I love this fabric. And this too was, this wasn't on sale. This was just $9.99. But I picked it up because I love the color. I think this will look good with my, um, if you wear it over a tan dress and you pull out one of your camel bags or brown, maybe my brown, no. Maybe one of those camel bags that I, maybe the one I got at TJ Maxx or I can rock it with one of my Chanel 19 uh, or Chanel bags, tan color, camel color. This will look so good with it, $10. So yeah. All right, enough for the men's blazers. Let's move on to female. So yeah, I found this beautiful two-piece. Kind of look like a Chanel too. You guys, if you mimic Chanel, I'm all for it. So trying to put this in the hanger so you guys get to see the whole thing. It's gorgeous. Oh, I have something else on the floor. I said this haul wasn't gonna be long, but you know, guys, I'm about to cut it short right about now. But I'll show you two more items and, and then show you the bag and we'll call it a day. So yeah, I found this beautiful dress. Look at that. Be beautiful, you see the fabric? So this is by somebody, but then they cut off the label. Beautiful pockets, like Chanel would do. The bottom is fringe, like Chanel would do. It's a two piece. And here is the cardigan that goes over it. Nice for the holidays, huh? Can you imagine you get invited for the holidays at somebody's home? or you're hosting a little holiday party, and you come down the stairs wearing this, people would think, huh, what's she wearing, Chanel? No, I don't know who this brand is, but it's mighty heavy, as you can see. It got the beautiful buttons that has like little doves, or I don't know what those are, owls, I think they're owls, right on there. Look at that, heavy heavy and that's what the back looks like so there's a story about this me and the lady she was coming this way on the aisle and i was coming that way and she's looking and i'm looking and we're getting closer and i know she's eyeing this because i saw this from a distance but she was a little bit closer to this than i was but what did your girl do i stretched my hand and just pulled it off the rack and she <laughs> She looked at me like, bitch. <laughs> and I know that's what she said. I know she didn't say that, but I could tell the look on her face was priceless because I just took it, did not even look at it. I just threw it on my card because I knew the weight alone, I knew it was going to be good. So, but anyway, she, she wasn't happy. I mean, if you see something from a distance, and we coming, I'm coming this way, she's coming that way, and this is dead set in the middle. I'm going to stretch my hand and grab it. I'm not going to wait for us to get by them like, oh, excuse me. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to just 
reach over and I say, excuse me, and I just grab it because if I didn't do that, then she would have found this beautiful two-piece for next to nothing. And this two was only $10, dollars nine ninety nine. Says it's a size small, but I came home and I tried it on. It's very stretchy, so it fits me really good. I can try the jacket so you guys can see what the jacket looks like. Yes, I was I, I did right in the middle as we were coming through. She's that way, I'm the other way. I'm like, okay, who's gonna get that outfit? Here's the cardigan. Beautiful. Like I say, I would never button this up. Never, ever, ever, ever. Look at the there's a button right here. They have buttons on inside. So you can button it and show the button out here. I know. I, I said to myself, wow. You gotta you gotta be the master of shopping to be able to do those things. Because if you're sitting there just wasting time, somebody's gonna beat you to it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And then the dress inside. One of these days I will style this dress, the whole outfit. Then you guys you get to see. You see that? You see how rich this is? Yes. Coming down. You're hosting a party and you coming down and everybody's like, okay, girl. Then when it gets maybe if it's outside, you have the cardigan. If you have it outside, if it's inside, you just have the little dress. Yeah, so yeah, that was what I found, what I found. Okay. Something else from the women's department I found is this Alice and Olivier. Alice and Olivier jacket. I have, you guys, I have the skirt in this and I paid pretty penny when I was working at, um, I'll show you. No, I think my Alice and Olivier is way top to. Can wear that with with my Alice and Olivia skirt. I have a little straight skirt. This is a little small. Damn, I did not know that. It has like a little button thingy. Why is this small? See, you guys see why I don't buy women's jackets? This area is always in my way. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. But. You guys know Alice and Olivia is not cheap. They run for like $399, $400. Got it at Goodwill for same Northridge Goodwill, $19. What was I smoking? I don't know. But um, I got it anyway. I think the only reason I got it because I know I have a skirt that will go with this. And being that is a little tight on me, we shall see if I'm going to keep it. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, one more item. I got, this came out of Bugged of Goodman. You guys know how expensive Bugged of Goodman is in New York. It was a DKNY vintage. This is vintage because the DKNY is so huge. This is when Donna Karen launched out DKNY. Remember, she only used to make Donna Karen, which is her expensive brand. And then she launched out DKNY, which was the affordable brand. So this is why the DKNY is so huge. And this came from Bergdorf, one of the highest expensive department store in New York. Yeah, Bergdorf Goldman is no, not cheap. This one was $10. And the only reason the tag looked like this is because when I was spraying the sanitizer, I sprayed the tag. $10, nothing, nothing off. I like the can white vintage because that's what, it was in mass production then. This was strictly designed by Donna Karen. It was vintage. Uh-oh, lost an earring. It was vintage. It was in mass production from China, but... <laughs> Every time I say that word, I think about Trump, China. But anyway, yeah, this is the DKNY. Still a little snuggy, snuggy, but it's a vintage jacket. So I have a lot of vintage DKNY jewelry. So 
when I wear this blazer, um, see how singed it is in the waist. You see how she used to take her time to do blazers back when, before she sold her company to the Chinese people. She used to take the time to make this stuff in New York. Look at the back. And this came out of Bogdov. So you know, when this was a Bogdov, it cost a pretty penny. Because Bogdov is not cheap. Not at all. But anyway, I found this a good way vintage. This is a vintage, guys. This is when your girl used to model in New York. That's when those came out. Anywho. All right, then. What else do I have? So I can show you the bags. I got two items. I have two, two robes, brand new with the tags. This says Maison Grey. Beautiful robe. It still has the original tags on them. If I can get it, get it right. For the bells, heavy. Maison Grey. Straight out of Goodwill. Original tag still on it. It feels like butter. It's that soft. So soft. Yes. Nice robe. During the holidays, you can just wear this at home. You know, if you don't feel like rocking, running around with the PJs, or sit outside and chill. I love the sleeves. Nice, I just wish it had a pocket. Why don't it have a pocket? Why, why, why? Oh, and then it got a slit on the side. I don't even know. I think I could wear this outside. Sure. Yeah, it's too pretty to just keep in the house. Way too pretty to just be in the house. This can become an outside robe. You guys remember when robes was a thing when people had regular robes and wore outside act like that was a thingy oh it has this inside um it got the inside belt too where you can tie it so it doesn't come apart and now i can rock this by itself and just run to the store yeah this is brand new and um this one was nine dollars and 99. i don't know what the original price for this was but maison gray did not have los angeles doesn't have an original price but look at the fabric guys so rich so so rich i love the stars it's like stars everywhere stars 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 all right the next robe is the house tooth. Now this is heavy. This is definitely, I don't even know if you can wear this in California. I think this can only be worn like, you know, like if you go to the woods or somewhere cold, you go to Utah, Alaska, New York, then you can pull this robe out. But other than that, this is some heavy ass robe. Yes, and this is by, oh, okay. This is Chatter Club, which is, is a Macy's company. Chatter Club, yeah. Size large, intimate. See, looks like, it feels like a towel. It's like a terry cloth that is heavy, 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 and it's long all the way down. I'm trying to put it on, but the knot that was, put on here is like uh so tight so when i got home i got this one to just wear around the house it's uh i mean even though it doesn't get cold in california as much there's some nights that it gets a little chilly that's the time i might just wear this down in the house and pretend like i'm in the east coast <laughs> Ouch. My ring got cut up. Okay, ring. All right, my ring is cut up on this fabric. Oh, man. Oh, no. My ring is pulling the fabric. 
So let's see what we can do here. Take the ring off because if I try to take it off, I took the ring off. Jeez. Yeah, finally fell by itself. Anywho, so how heavy is this thing? Yes. Nice, heavy, heavy rope. Yeah. Nice. You get out of the shower. You can, because it's kind of like a terry cloth. You can just tie this around you. You probably don't even need a towel. This is going to dry you up really good. And this too was $9.99. Yes. I think there was 25 off of the red tag. I forgot. There was some kind of discount I got with this. Maybe, I, oh, I got a veteran's discount. 10. 10% off. Yeah. 10%. All right, we're almost done, guys. Then I got this beautiful polo. Ralph Lauren. Slim shirt you can just wear with some jeans. Cute. This was like, this was $10 too. Why well, I pay ten dollars for this thing? I don't even know, but I did. Yeah, Polo Ralph Lauren. Yeah, you guys know I love my Ralphs. I just thrifted a beautiful Ralph Lauren jacket from Hope of the Valley. That was that was really good. Okay, I said I was never gonna buy another leather jacket, but I couldn't pass this beautiful AMC hundred percent leather jacket. I just could not pass. The price was too good to be true. And this one was $14.99, I think. I think then I got the veterans discount. I'm like, okay, even if I don't keep it, I might list it on Poshmark. It was nice. I tried it on. I was like, I don't need another leather jacket. But then I saw the details. And then I saw the buttons. I'm like, hmm, am I going to regret this if I leave it behind? Yeah, I was going to regret it. So, here we go. It came home with me. It sure did. All right. Let's move on to the handbags. Don't worry, guys. I don't have that many handbags. I think I only thrifted two, two handbags from Goodwill. Two. The, the handbags were like, the prices were ridiculous. You know, they were selling some of the micro cores for $59.49. I'm like, it's Goodwill. Why? These things were donated. Why are y'all selling it for that price? But anyway, the first bag I found is this cute little Mark by Mark Jacob little, like a wallet on the chain, soft, nice plum leather beautiful beautiful love the chain i saw this i was like oh i have to have it i love my wallet on the chains when it says right there mark by mark jacob you guys see that it's like some kind of lambskin it got this section it got that section i love this color and this one was 11.99 you all see it if you can just focus. I hate white. Anyway, it's eleven ninety nine. You have the chain and then you have the snap. And I think I got my uh, ten percent discount with this little thing. I love this little bag. I just love this little bag. So yeah, crossbody definitely. It doesn't have an adjustable strap. It's just plain old. Let me see if my let me see if my phone will fit on there. Sorry, my nails are not letting me be great. Here we go. Yeah, it just wanna close by itself. It just like snaps right off your hand as you open it. Look, look at that. Yes, my phone is in there. You have section where you have your your wallets, I mean your credit cards. Then on this section you can put your lipstick or some money and you still have 
you just have space for this little thing this little thing has space yeah eleven dollars for beautiful little mark jacob that's the part i do not understand they had some bags some coach bags and some old michael cores that were not even up to par behind the counter and this mark jacob was on the floor just hanging and all the way in the back and you know i don't miss a thing as i was digging i pulled it out i knew what it was i can actually wear this together yeah the schwartz shoes with the mark jacob hello now i mean this is a more of a purple and this is more of a fuchsia but that's okay they're still in the same family say so we close we cousins yeah so i can rub that together the next item i got is something i have never ever done in my life in this my lifetime of being in the fashion industry i have never ever bought a guess anything nothing guess when I see guests, I walk away. Maybe I did buy a pair of guests chunky boots. And I think I wore it one time and when I realized that it was guests, I was like, ah, that's why it fits me the way it does because I actually don't think they make good items. But needless to say, when I had gone to Nostrum Shrack, I saw these bags that were at Nostrum Shrack. And then when I saw it at Goodwill, I'm like, you know what? It has potential doesn't scream guess it just have the logo look at that this is the only reason i got it if he had said guess on there i would have walked away but because it only had the initials i took it and you see where it has the the initials all in the back it's all imprinted in there and then you have the the shine almost looking like the chanel 19 bags but then on the back it has the zipper beautiful it has the g the guests the ggs are everywhere i'm like yes who would have thought and then on the inside you have your markings in there too on the side zip where you can throw your phone i love the two chain feel that yes never thought i would be buying a guest bag but we'll see where this is going to end up at Two snaps, two snaps. Soft, quilted. Everybody's coming for Chanel 19. Okay, you luxury house. Y'all gotta watch your back. There's this contemporary bags are coming for you. Look at that. Nice. In there it says this right there. I think that's what it says on there. Yes, yeah. Yes. And this one was fourteen ninety nine. There was some kind of discount on this. I don't know if it was 50 or for 25 off, but there was, I just didn't pay $15 for this. I think it was cheaper and that's why I got it. So yeah, we have the inside pocket with a zipper. We have the two slide pocket and this is still new. This is not pre-loved or anything. I think this came out of store and they just donated it to go with. Or maybe somebody bought it and decided, eh, I don't want this. Then you got the feet right there. So yeah, beautiful gas bag for less than $15. Somebody has to really come close to know what your bag is. Oh, it's a gas bag. Okay, that is still cute. So yeah, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like it. Thrifting, thrifting, thrifting. I, let me tell you guys, I love thrifting. It's like when I go to the store now and I see stuff that I want to buy that's like full price and I'm in the back of my head, I keep saying, maybe I could find something cheaper at the thrift store. <laughs> oh, there's one more stuff I made. I forgot. This vintage Zara. She, um woven shoes this is straight up zara but it's vintage i remember when this first came out it's got a little tassel in the front never been worn oh no it's been worn just pretty loved yeah it's been worn but this is straight up from zara you can see the details right there see the buckle this is a vintage zara guys this is not 
the Zara now that stuff is mass produced. That's when Zara was strictly European. You can get good shoes, good everything. So yeah, this is my haul of the day. It's Tuesday. It's a good way haul. It wasn't a hope of the valley. I do have a hope of the valley coming soon. I don't know if I'm gonna probably do that one on Thursday, Thursday or Friday. We shall see. Just hit the notification bell, guys, and you will know when I upload. So yeah, this is my little flowery Hawaiian dress, my big hoops, and I just decided to throw my bling bling Chanel hats. So I was gonna put a scarf on, but it's so hot I could not. I'm like, nope, I just need me. I just need a baseball hat. Nice little, straight out of Hawaii. We got the palm trees. We got the, the hibiscus flowers. We got everything. If you're in, from the tropics, you would know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Yeah. This dress is by Hawaiian designer. I think I bought... One, two, three, four, five different prints. And today, when I stopped at Goodwill, I said, let me see if there's more. There was two more in there. They're brand new, never been worn. It's like maybe the store closed now and everything was donated from to Hope of the Valley. And your girl rock this. This is the thing. I bought this dress from Hope of the Valley by my area. And I went there today to go see if I can find something else. This dress, the people that work there go like, oh, I love your dress. I was like, uh, it came from your store. They'll be like, really? I was like, uh, yeah, really. Because I went to do, oh yes, I went to do my donation. So I wore this little thing. So yeah, you can belt it. And I'm rocking it with the chunky heel slippers. You guys remember that? Yes, uh, I'm all bling today. Bling 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 and this is what i was carrying because you know when i go thrifting my hands are free i did not put this belt i just put this belt to show you guys but i was carrying my bag with mishka wallet on the chain that's how i went to the store I was gonna do this haul in the garage, but guys, my garage was packing hot and I did not want to be sweating. So I just schlepped everything here in a two big bags, baskets and I'm gonna schlep it back down to the garage so I don't have to hear my husband's voice like, why you bring this stuff up here? But yeah, so this is the bag. Yes, I was carrying, beautiful. I put my phone in here. I got my My Google goes, I got my Hope of the Valley receipt. And in here is where all the goodies are. It's where my credit cards are and everything else I need. But you guys know, I cannot just leave my house with a wallet on the chain. Because where is my makeup? Where is my mask? Where is everything? So I have to carry the bigger bag, which I live in the car. So yeah, this was what was left in the car. This is all bad Mishka. You guys see, this is where the rest of my stuff is. My makeup case, ouch. I got my makeup case. We got my husband's wallet. Because I always carry his wallet. One day I'll do a what's in my bag. I got my sanitizer. I got my change purse. Yeah, so your girl ain't walking around. Which is, um, oh, and then I got my little cookies when I get hungry while I'm shopping. I always, always, always have something to eat because my sugar might go down. Then I'll be feeling mighty weak. My little wallet so yeah so this sits in the car the backpack because i had to go to the post office to do some poshmark thank you for the guys that are buying stuff on my poshmark really really appreciate it 
I really appreciate you guys that you guys have supported me on Poshmark. So, yay. Anywho, my battery is low, so I got to go. Talk to you guys. Love, peace, happiness. Love you guys. I see you when I see you. Maybe Thursday. Maybe Friday. So, we shall see. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe. Comment, share, good comments only, please. Bye-bye.